On Monday, May 13th, Jeff Grove, the mayor of LaSalle, Illinois, decided to target me after my public comment speech. He asked if there were any questions, comments, or concerns, so I raised my hand. He gave me a head nod, and I asked my question. In their live stream, I am to the far left, just off camera. In my video, you will see Mr. Jeff Grove give me a head nod before I ask my question. This tyrant mayor decided to give me a strike too before I ever got a strike one. I don't know how that works, but he tried it. In this video, you will also view my public comment speech, which was given just minutes before he gave me that strike too. Due to the seriousness of his rampage at the top of the meeting, I will be making a second video to display that occurrence. Three others were allowed to ask questions after their speeches without getting a warning. Any other thoughts, comments, questions tonight? I'm sorry, you've already had your time. Any other questions, thoughts tonight for anybody else? That's number two. That's number two, interruption. Anybody else tonight? Approval minutes. Your Honor, I make a motion that we... Here is my point of view. You can see him nod his head at me before jumping down my throat. Could you go back over what you were... Any other questions, thoughts tonight? Could you go back over what you were saying in the beginning? Angel, were you here when I did my precursor to the public comment? I heard the end of it. Okay. Just want to make sure you understand prior to going into your I, public comment. I'll be honest, I don't understand. I, did you want to go back over it? Uh, basically, you cannot use anything that's harassing, um, harassment that could be identified under sexual or physical or workplace harassment. Zero what tolerance. Would, what would that be? It's a... Uh, Definition, you can look up if you need time to Google, but I think you've been in enough places, you're pretty astute to it. Oh, so nothing I've done in the past. So. I don't know. I don't know your past. Here. Is what I meant? Okay. Is, is that correct, though? In the past here, I haven't. I basically said anything harassing or name-calling or personal attacks. So if you feel you did that, then I guess... You got away with it. Going forward, it's not going to be allowed. So no, you think you I don't do that. that. You should I'm... know that. Uh, you ready, John? Well, I didn't think I'd be able to make it tonight, but here I am. Dawn notified me that there were finally cans in the bathroom to use for items containing, well, blood. I was delighted to see that my tampon demonstration worked. There is not only bins in both stalls, there is also a new can near the sink that has a lid. Little Johnny can no longer use tampons as slingshots while his mommy's in the stall. Do you know what I call that? A win. Thank God us hormonal broads get up here doing what we do. Weeks after I initially brought this up to Mr. Groves or brought this to Mr. Groves' attention, I brought a similar issue up to another local mayor after a meeting. The issue there was simply that one of three stalls was missing the feminine bin. That mayor listened, respect respected that us gals do have different needs and quickly notified me when the needed equipment was ordered. By the next city council meeting, which was last week, everything was installed for women to use. This other mayor also took concerns I had uh, at a local park seriously. He made sure a potentially dangerous area was taped off once it was brought to his attention. In fact, they had already noticed the general danger of this area and began the process to repair this danger zone. Sure, the short-term solution was overlooked at first, but when brought up, it was swiftly handled and taped off. I see why this city is losing employees to Peru. Due to the professionalism and actions of this other mayor and many of the city employees, I was able to use my public comment time to praise the positives as I stood in front of at least three times the amount of humans here today. Mayor Grove, you had the same chance to be a decent guy, a true leader, but you decide to boldly ignore the issues until someone gets up here calling you out. You then target those people. 
I want to know if you have a timeline for rotary safety problems being permanently fixed. Rod Thorson, the same goofball who drunkenly pulls firearms on his neighbors, is so misguided that he compared people speaking during, during public comment to a loud muffler, that it's annoying and should be criminal. Yep, Roddy himself now wants our public comments to be criminalized, but look at what's being accomplished here. Small yet mighty changes. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Under no circumstance do I support someone calling up the police department making threats or even deep hurtful comments about family members getting ill. I was sad to hear some of the things the chief told me about, but was I shocked? No. I've had it happen myself, direct threats, things being sent to my house. When my dad and sister passed in 2022, just weeks apart, I heard and read brutal comments that I will never forget. Statements like those ones are a different type of low, and I would never support it, even directed at you, Mayor Grove. I told the chief that my response to what he told me was sincere, and I meant that. Unlike what you believe, Mayor Grove, I'm far too honest to be a politician. Speaking of threats, I would like to simply give a direct quote from a LaSalle County Sheriff's Office report. John and Jamie then told John he hopes he doesn't see him outside because he'd kick his ass, end quote. The next quote came from the same deputy's report regarding the follow-up phone call with Mr. Duncan. John asked if the report was finished for Jamie Hicks threatening to whip the fuck out of him and what was being done about it. I explained to John he had told me before leaving yesterday that he did not wish to pursue anything at the time. John explained that he now wanted to press charges for Jamie threatening to whip the fuck out of him. I explained to John the language he's using is different from yesterday. I then read back the statement to, to him that he had given me yesterday about Jamie telling him he hopes he doesn't see him outside because he's going to kick his ass. This, deep, this is deeply concerning. As you can see, Mr. Hicks can no longer attend these meetings. As part of my investigation, I spoke with the sheriff's office. Without naming names, if anyone here believes the deputy lied about Mr. Duncan's claims in the report, the sheriff's office encourages you to file a formal complaint, view the recordings, or contact a supervisor. In my eyes, if you truly believe any of that report was falsified by the deputy, you have a duty to report it. Integrity is everything. For the remainder of my time, I'm holding a silent one-man protest against all forms of retaliation. Thanks, John. Anybody else like to speak? No. 